for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel just remember I'll be going through the past present challenge and outcome the bottom cards are paired with the top cards so Libra in the recent past we have the eight of Pentacles now this card points to necessary efforts you would have had a lot on your plate that you needed to get accomplished. Dedication to the task at hand was important, but working for its own sake could have been counterproductive. So you needed to be clear on what you were trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one could have or well, let me rephrase that. No one can or should work all the time. Now, with the Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a period of very hard work. Keep in mind, this does not have to be a negative thing, but you must have been prepared for it or try to prepare for it at that time. And it's paired with the World card. Now, this card is about completion. You've worked hard, and you're almost to the finish line in some ways, so don't quit now when you're so close. You're almost definitely in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer to who you really are at your deepest level. Now, in terms of work, there's a very good chance that you are working far too hard for far too little recognition and money. It's important at this time or the time in the recent past, if this was the case, to toot your own horn, blow your own horn a little, and to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. And that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now this points to messages. Uh, often with regards to money and finance. Often. But not always. You're likely to finally receive some type of news that you've been waiting on. And the news is more than likely very good news. It's something that you've been wanting to hear. Now this card is very practical because the knight tells us to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your life. Just take care of the little things and the big things will fall into place, usually. Uh, this card will ask you to look at how you're handling your affairs and um, is a very big influence on the way things turn out. And uh, the Knight of Pentacles is paired with the Four of Swords. Okay, the Four of Swords is a card that signifies a break or a need for a break from normal life. This can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat is screaming. Uh, and he only does that when I start talking. <laughs> so sorry about that. Okay, uh, back to the uh, Four of Swords. This can also mean that someone in your life uh, may withdraw for a time, okay? Now, take a look at this picture. Okay, forget about what my cat is saying. Take a look at the picture, and you can clearly see that this withdrawal um, it's not going to be permanent. More than likely, it's not going to be permanent. Um, it occasionally means illness or time in the hospital or even more rarely, uh, time in jail. Okay, and those are just some, some scenarios. Now, illness could mean uh, the flu and you need to go to the doctor, okay? So when it says illness, don't think anything drastic, okay? And time in jail, okay? Maybe uh, you got a ticket, or you know your son got a ticket, or something like that. He's got a, he's got an expired registration, and then he's got to spend a day in jail. I mean, it could be something really small, okay? So I just don't want your head to run wild with this sentence. 
all right and so also this card it's a clear signifier to give people their space you are in, you are in need of some time and space to yourself also others they may be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or say no keep in mind when others say no to you take them at their word if you push in this circumstance it's asking for trouble and with these two cards paired together in the knight of pentacles it points to messages uh, usually it's regarding money and finance but it could be other matters other type of messages mm, and it's going to be news that you've been waiting on and it's good news that you love to hear okay and being that it's paired with the four of swords Oh, maybe you've been waiting too long or so long for this message. The good news has finally come in and you feel like you can finally take a break and you can rest. I don't know what the news is, but it seems like it's something that you have been waiting on and you were hoping for and you were wishing for. And it probably stressed you out. And it looks like you just, after you got the good news, you just crashed. You took time away. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what it looks like and that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, and then that's the present. And let's move on to the challenge. We have the Ace of Swords. Now this can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on many levels, many several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning can be a, um, it can be a start, well it can be started by a separation of some kind. From a relationship or from a job situation, it can be any type of separation. Okay, um, just know that such anxiety producing things um, bring, they bring about new beginnings. Uh, and underneath it all is good. It's beneficial energy that gets you to where you want to go and need to be. Now, the Ace of Swords, it calls on us to not be afraid to take a leap if it's in our own best interest. Okay, and the Ace of Swords is paired with the Six of Wands. Um, this card, it signals victory. So if you are anxious about a court proceeding, or want to win your lover's heart, or something of that, of something of those type of nature, or something of something like that. Um, just know that you will be victorious, very victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you may be a part of a graduation parties or commencement celebrations, weddings, or you may be receiving a reward for good work that you've done. Now the Six of Wands can make you feel really good about yourself. You may feel as if you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else whereby adoring them makes you feel amazing. And with these two cards paired together, the Ace of Swords, it's about new beginnings on several fronts. Uh, the, usually the new beginnings, they're started by a separation. Okay? Um, started by a separation, and um, you're not going to be afraid to take a leap because you know it's in your best interest. Uh, these new beginnings, they're paired with the Six of Wands. Uh, possible court proceeding, um, winning your lover's heart, something victorious um, is the new beginning. Uh, uh, some type of celebration. Uh, you'll be celebrating, you'll be victorious about these new beginnings. And... Um, uh, you'll be feeling really good about yourself with the Six of Wands. Um, okay, so these are really two great cards. It's, it's all about uh, taking a leap 
of faith because you know it's in your best interest because you have so many new beginnings that are going to be victorious for you at this time. And that's going to be the challenge. Let's move on to the outcome. We have the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands can indicate a man. Now, this man, he'll usually have hair on the... He'll usually have he'll usually have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. Okay, this man he'll want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is a positive card in the tarot. Even when he does not represent an actual individual in your life, this card signifies that men around you are generally supportive and think well of you. You'll be feeling ambitious and goal-oriented at this time. Um, furthermore, you will have the ability to accomplish what you have in mind. It's paired with the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is a card about returns on investment. This can be such as bank accounts returning money to you or such as investments of time and effort and energy that you've put into a relationship or relationships. You will be reaping what you sow at this time. Now this is positive. Uh, you should be feeling more secure than you have in quite some time. Things will be moving quite, things, things will be moving well. I'm sorry, things will be moving well. They'll be moving along very well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a very good cause. You may have decided whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring in more to your life. You're going to have to choose wisely. With these two cards paired together, the King of Wands uh, it indicates a man is a positive person. This is a positive card in the tarot. Um, uh, this man is very supportive of you and, and thinks very well of you. This is uh, an ambitious person and goal-oriented. Uh, okay, and uh, it's about accomplishing what you have in mind. So this male figure could help you do this, or this could be you, but you're not a man. So I would say that this is the man coming towards you, or either someone that you know. So I wouldn't say it's you. It's someone that you know are coming towards you like this, and it's a, it's a male. It's a man. Uh, you may know him, or you're about to meet him. It's a positive thing. It's paired with the Seven of Pentacles. And he'll probably help you with your money and your finances. Okay, because with the Seven of Pentacles, uh, you'll be getting money. Good returns on investments. The uh, you know, Returns could be money. It could be finance. It could be return, returns coming back to you on the time and effort you put into friendships, family, uh, relationships. Uh, at this time, you'll be reaping what you sow. And um, like I said, this man, uh, this very positive man, goal-oriented, accomplished, um, he'll be uh, with you or coming towards you with this situation. And that's going to be the outcome. So Libra, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Watching and have a great day. Watching and